How much did they first pay you to give up on your dreams? And when were you going to stop and come back and do what makes you happy? You know why kids love athletes? Kids love athletes because they follow their dreams. I see guys who work at the same company for their entire lives. They clock in, they clock out, and they never have a moment of happiness. You have an opportunity. This is a rebirth. Life has a way of pushing our dreams down. They can become buried under discouragement, buried under past mistakes. There are dreams buried under divorce, buried under low self-esteem. It's easy to settle for mediocrity, even though we have all this potential buried on the inside. All of us have things that we're believing for, something that we want to accomplish. Deep down, we know it's a part of our destiny. We can feel it so strongly. But then we hit some setbacks. We didn't get the promotion. The medical report wasn't good. Or a relationship didn't work out. Now don't let circumstances talk you out of it. You may not understand why a business didn't make it, why a person walked away, why you came down with an illness. You were doing the right thing, but the wrong thing happened. It's all a part of the process. Your dream may be buried. The good news is it's still alive. It's not too late to see it come to pass. If you'll do your part and start believing again, get your passion back, it is on the way. Go back and try again. The true mark of a champion is even though some dirt gets thrown on your dream, instead of letting it get buried, you keep shaking it off. You keep moving forward. You keep looking for new opportunities. If you're going to reach your highest potential, you have to make up your mind that you are in it for the long haul. You're not going to let people talk you out of it. Circumstances discourage you. Delays cause you to give up. Critical people cause you to get distracted. You're going to stay focused on your goal. This is your time. This is your moment. Your destiny is calling out to you. Dream big and make those big things happen. I'm a dreamer. I will never stop being a dreamer. If you're going to be successful in creating the life of your dreams, you have to believe that you are capable of making it happen. You have to believe that you have the right stuff and that you're able to pull it off. Now, whether you call it self-esteem, self-confidence, or self-assurance, it's a deep-seated belief that you have what it takes, the abilities, the inner resources, the talents, and the skills to create your desired results. Now, believing in yourself is simply an attitude. Believing in yourself is a choice. You have to choose to believe that you can do anything you set your mind to, anything at all, because in fact you can. What does that mean to you, this victory? It means everything. It means everything. It means you were right. It means they were right. It means that the people that didn't believe, they were wrong. It means that when you don't believe, you do yourself a disservice because it is wrong. So you gotta believe. You gotta believe in what you wanna do. You gotta believe in what you wanna get accomplished and believe that somehow, somewhere, within yourself and in the universe around you, there are tools and resources that will be of aid and help the man that really wants to get it done. Life is death without change. Are you willing to make a change in your life to realize a dream, to fulfill what's in your mind, what you can visualize as your life? And are you willing to put the sweat equity, the time, the persistency that it takes, not on your timetable, but on fate's timetable? If you are, then you have to educate yourself in whatever that subject matter is. Dream. That's a powerful word. You'll get knocked down many times chasing your dreams. You will feel like you don't have the energy to get back up. You don't have the strength to get back up. You will feel like giving up is the only option. When you're hit, when you've been knocked down by life, that's when it's time to hit back. 
That's when it's time to hit back. Many people get hit by life, but they never hit back. Are you going to stay down or are you going to decide to get back up? It takes courage. It takes confidence. It takes a strong mindset to get back up when nobody believes in you. There's a lion inside all of us, but some people decide to never let that lion out. Many people keep that lion locked in his cave. Are you hungry for that dream? Are you willing to fight for that dream? Let the lion out. Get hungry for your dream. Go hunt your dream. Talking about that dream won't take you far. Working will. Daughters will tell you to be realistic. Haters will tell you to quit. You are the only one who can go and get it. It's your dream. No one will chase it for you. No one will hunt for you. No one will support your dream but you. There's a quote that goes, everyone wants to eat, but a few are willing to hunt. Everyone wants to succeed, but few are willing to put in the work required. Stop limiting yourself. You can make your dream into a reality, but it will only take one person to believe that it's possible. It will only take one person to put in the work. That person is you. There's plenty of humans before you who have accomplished big things, who are living their dream life. They've done it. That is proof you can too. It is proof that you can live your dream if you really want it. You are the most dangerous enemy to your dreams because only you decide when to quit and give up on your dreams. Only you decide when to kill these dreams. You're more powerful than you even know. You can change the world with your dream. But it only requires you to get out of your comfort zone and unleash the inner lion. It requires you to let the lion out of its cage. It requires you to chase your dreams no matter what. If you have a weak mindset, if you're afraid of taking risks, you will never get far in life. You will never get that dream with a weak mindset. Create a mindset that keeps you moving even when others quit. Life is unpredictable. It's full of surprises. You might be closer than you think. Your dream can become a reality if you refuse to quit. Be like a lion. Never back down from the challenges you face. A lion never stops chasing his prey until it catches it. You never stop chasing your dream until you live it. Dream big and never let small minds convince you that your goal is out of reach. It may be out of reach for them, but you know better. Believe in yourself. If you are in the way of my goals and dreams, I suggest you move. going to be you already are in another form you are the acorn of an oak tree acorn doesn't look anything like an oak tree it doesn't remotely look like it would ever have branches and leaves and be productive it's just a, a nut an acorn is a nut but everything that an oak tree is is in the acorn even though it hadn't shaped out yet so everything that the acorn will ever be is already in that nut and everything that you will ever be is already in you right now and the best people to be around are people who see it in you even though you don't look like a tree yet I'm looking for somebody who sees a tree in my nut. But the difference between people who get married three years and then get divorced and people who have been married 30 years is how you handle the breaking point. If you don't learn how to master the breaking point, you may have many ventures, but you will not accrue massive success in any area because you have not mastered the breaking point. Every time life runs you to a breaking point, you will give up and quit. You will back away and run. You will say, this is too hard, this is too emotional, this is too stressful, and you will back away. You cannot be a champion until you have survived a breaking point.
It's in you. It's in you. It's in you. It's in you. Go ahead and rehearse. Go ahead and play your scale. Go ahead and work on your level. Go ahead and master where you are. And after a while, without you even trying to do it, where you started will turn into where you're going. That's what destiny is pulling you into. If you understand what I'm teaching, give God 30 seconds of a recital praise. Somebody's about to take flight. Clear the runway. Start the engine. Buckle your seatbelts because God is teaching me how to flow into my destiny. What is killing you is that you're at the breaking point. Your strength is going to make you tough enough to get there and your weakness is going to make you humble enough to be grateful after you have arrived. The power to make choices is one of our God-given gifts. Choices. To choose. To decide. To prefer. To select. To elect. A particular path or course is unique to us as human species. The house we choose. The jobs we choose, the degrees we chose, the subjects that we took, the books that we read, the people that we befriended, the choices that we made determine to a large degree the experiences that we're having in life. If you made better choices, you could be happy. If you made better choices, you could have peace of mind. In fact, even if you chose to think differently than you think, you could have peace of mind. Most of us torment ourselves by choosing to reflect on things we cannot fix, we cannot change, we cannot alter, and we cannot move. And you are the author of your own misery because of the choices. Only humans have the ability and the commitment to make choices. We select, we choose. Now, sometimes to our own detriment. Because I would suggest to you today that we are where we are today in part as a result of the choices we made yesterday. Purpose trumps profit. Purpose trumps profit. You don't always make a decision by the bottom line. Sometimes you have to do things just because they're right. Sometimes right doesn't look profitable in the short term, but right will pay you back with interest if you hold on. Purpose trumps profit every time. I've watched it for years. Guys who snatch out the profit end up being nothing. But if you search out the purpose, profit will snatch out the you. This is resistance training. It's pulling against it that's going to make you strong. Every time it comes to control how you speak, how you understand, or how you think, if you resist it, it'll flee. Now, I don't care how intellectual, how refined, how conservative, how prolific uh, you are as an individual, all of us must be honest and admit that there are some times that we have gotten into things by our own devices and you look back as you mature at what you did yesterday and say, what was I thinking? What was I thinking to make the choice that I made at the time that I made it? In the center stage, we have a piano, a baby grand piano, glistening, shining, and bright, but it cannot play itself. It is an opportunity. If the right person doesn't touch it, it will never reach its potential. 
The piano has existed so long that it will only give itself fully over to somebody who have invested enough time and effort in it and they know how to get the most out of the same keyboard. 88 keys on the keyboard, but it's the fingers that pluck it that control what it can produce. So you go out and you buy you a piano and in your mind you think, I'm gonna work on this and in a couple of months, I'm gonna do that too. But when you get your piano and you get everything in place and you sit down at it and you get ready to play, that doesn't sound like what I had in mind. Nobody clapped when I played it. They don't like me. You mean you really expected to get the reaction of the maestro at a recital when your life is in a rehearsal stage? See, you're trying to get a reaction that you haven't earned yet. And if you're not careful, you will do this for a while and say, that doesn't work for me. And now you got the clarinet and you're trying to blow in. And then if you don't get a quick reaction from that, you put that down and say, that's not giving it to me. And now you got a drum and you're beating on the drum and you can't master that. You cannot play the Super Bowl if you don't make the practice. You cannot get the prize for winning the Olympics if you don't make the practice. You want the accruements of success and that's what's killing you. You compromise the rehearsal time and bought the tuxedo for the recital. Now you look like something that you're not. We got people who want promotion without process. Oh my God, I feel like running all over this church. They want promotion without process because the reason they want promotion is because they have no self-esteem so they need crowd esteem to feel good about themselves and they think that if they get promoted high enough then people will like them and then maybe they'll like themselves you got it backwards you gotta like yourself first the reason you're not getting the promotion is because you won't make the practice I say all of that to say it does not matter where you start. It only matters where you finish. The difference between start and finish is determined by how you handle the breaking point. As T.E. Lawrence said, all men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds wake in the day to find that it was vanity but the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act on their dreams with open eyes to make them possible. That at the end of the day is the very mission of my life, to get people to understand that there is a difference between dreaming and executing, about doing something based on the things that you want to see happen in the world. But most people hit that moment of action and they stop, but they don't stop knowingly. They stop for a thousand different reasons that they're never able to put their finger on. They stop because they're tired. They stop because circumstance dictates. They stop because they don't have enough money. They stop because they're too young. They stop because they're too old. They stop for a whole host of reasons that at the end of the day are total bullshit. The thing that stops them is fear. The thing that stops them is a belief that they don't even know they have that says that they're never going to accomplish. They stop because they can't muster the belief in themselves to move forward, to believe that their actions will have the consequences that they want, to believe that they can learn the things that they don't already understand, to believe in themselves that their actions will generate a reward. And that reward is very simple, that you can close your eyes and imagine the world that you want to create and open them and create it. And some people are stopped by something even more dangerous. They dream too small. 
And as David Ogilvie said, don't bunt, aim out of the ballpark, aim for the company of immortals. When you can do that, when you can allow yourself to dream at that level, when you can allow yourself to believe in yourself, to believe in your ability to become the kind of person that can swing for the fences, not only swing for the fences, but make contact. To be able to call your shot like Babe Ruth and knock it out of the park. When you can look at yourself and have the arrogance of belief in yourself that you are capable of that, that you are worthy of being remembered, that you are worthy of people knowing your name, then you will strike out and have a chance at greatness. But it starts with that. It starts with being willing to believe that all the people, the wall of humanity that stands behind you in the past, none of them, none of them have anything that you don't. And the only difference between the greats, the only difference between those who are remembered and those who are forgotten is the willingness to step up to the plate and call their shot.